we right back with an exclusive and if you have not done so already hit that subscribe button thumb up the video that is imperative it gets the channel out to new and potential subscribers which hey, Joe, necessary you know? is necessary for the growth of my channel i appreciate all of you here today man today we got an exclusive incident report hot off the press we got none other than little jeff man bh bloodhound little jeff rest in peace to little jeff man say that again rest in peace to little jeff rest in peace to bloodhound little jeff man all right like i said earlier man if you have not done so already hit that subscribe button i drop videos as the paperwork comes in it could come in through various means of ways through homies through cpd through however you know we submitting these freedom of information uh, request and we getting them in man so you don't want to miss it this is the channel this is the place to be for the paperwork if you're not here already i don't know what you're doing we just dropped the scanner audio not that long ago for bloodhound little jeff and now we following up with the actual incident report man and when they make progress on the case and so forth we submitting for the homes man we, we getting all the documents man all right so you don't want to miss it turn your notification bells on too but let's jump right into this paperwork man since today we got this exclusive here all right we got a chicago police department original case incident report the incident is listed with one two three four different crime codes they have the first code listed at the top as 0110 homicide and first degree murder 051a assault aggravated handgun 1310 criminal damage to property 1320 criminal damage to a vehicle all right we know the occurrence location we had the occurrence date was june 8th 2024 at 17 1400 hours all right we got victim individual names are redacted this was a male black age 27 all right we got another victim individual name redacted male black age 22. we got another victim individual mr jeffrey harris male black age 21. all right we don't know the sobriety so at this time potentially the autopsy report wasn't done i mean this is just the incident report of course all right and we see that this just came in today so we are getting this fresh off the press man so if you haven't done so i know this is mid video but hit that like button man it's really helpful for my channel this is a new channel man and we just growing we growing we growing and we growing but i need y'all to hit that like button and share the videos all right we got an individual another individual victim so that makes one two including little jeff three four five victims right all various ages seemingly male black well there's one female black age 29 here also and ending with uh, seemingly a male black age 20. <clears throat> there's another victim individual here unknown unknown demographics were refused that's interesting so a lot of victims, man, in this situation here. A lot of victims. I know it's been highly publicized. I mean, it's all over Reddit. Like I said, I broke some information in terms of the scanner report. So you can definitely go check that out also on the channel. Um, definitely go check that out. All right, we got injuries here to one Jeffrey Harris, injured by a fender. The injury extent was fatal injury reason other all right injury cause of course we know by firearm all right and the type was gunshot suspect they list as unknown unknown demographics unknown refuse unknown eyes unknown so they suspect one two three four people they suspect in this case here already four suspects all right and we got victims listed with victim relationships to offender and it's seemingly none because all of the offenders are listed as unknown all right 
We're coming through down page four. All right, now we're on page five. We got Chicago Police Department incident report. They're listing the vehicles that were on the scene, on the scene of the crime. Vehicle 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe, a truck. This one was not damaged though. All right, now, vehicle number two was a 2021 Nissan Altima. Damaged no. All right. Maybe these were the vehicles that the witnesses may have reported these vehicles to CPD as vehicles of interest too because they're not damaged or stolen. So this isn't anything to do with, you know, a car getting shot up or anything. And it says property number one description, a window or door. All right, damage, yeah, so see, when they were firing, they listed the door in this window as damaged for some property, but none of the vehicles were shot up. That's listed here. So that leads me to believe that some of these are the murder suspect vehicles. Y'all get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about that assessment there. All right. All right. Now we're getting down into some of the notifications here. And as we know, these are just the, the notifications that pop up and, and notify us which the uh, officer and the department that showed up on the crime scene all right <clears throat> and we got an event uh incident narrative here and we got a event number 241 body one camera recorded event in summary responding officers responded to a call of a person shot or a shot spotter excuse me Upon arrival, responding officers observed a vehicle involved in an auto accident nearby. When responding officers relocated from 6649 South Rose to the West Alley to investigate the auto accident, the driver of the vehicle, victim, redacted. We have a big redaction block, and we're going to pick back up where there is no redaction. Responding officers were notified via University of Chicago, victim, Redacted was dropped off in a black SUV bearing redacted unknown male one wearing a black hooded sweatshirt with short dreads one wearing a red jumpsuit who is a redacted and one with a baseball cap and black t-shirt victim Harris Jeffrey suffered from 19 gunshot wounds about the body and was pronounced at the University of Chicago by Dr. J I can't say that, at 1747 hours. Stemming from the event, a second car was struck by gunfire under this RD number. Evidence tech recovered 58 spent casings from the crime scene. Vin's given and explained. Wow, man. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, I mean, whoa, man. 19 gunshot wounds about the body. Man, and I mean, 50, 58 spent cases alone at the crime scene, man. This is a vicious shootout, man. A vicious shootout. Like I said, rest in peace to little Jeff, man. This was this was definitely a shootout for the books, man. He went out with a bang. That's for certain. All right, we coming down some. Uh, we have just the detectives listed here, crime prevention. So these are all the detectives that were present on the scene of the homicide, man, for the crime scene. And we have down here personnel listed as well. And I think that takes us down to the end, yep. So man, here we have it, man. We breaking the little Jeff, the little Jeff uh, in homicide incident report, excuse me, the homicide incident report for little Jeff, man. We just breaking that down now. Like I said earlier, if you haven't done so, the CPD scanner video is in the video directory of this channel. You can check that out as well just to get caught back up to speed with all these events that, that has taken place. We learned some new information. Man, so hit that subscribe button and, and thumb up the video. But before I go, definitely check out the homie on Instagram. It's shyrax.history, shyrax.history, man. That's Chirax dot history, right? And he's credit for this paperwork coming in today. 
He always dropping paperwork just like me, man. So, you know, we all collective. So shout out to the gang and them. Peace. We out.